If you are a web design agency or a freelancer, then this is the tool you cannot miss out on because W3Dart is launching at PitchGround and it is a way for you to collaborate with your team and or your clients in a more efficient and structured way to optimize websites to fix certain bugs that are found between your clients and your own agency and it is a fantastic way to just collaborate with each other. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Directly from the start, soon as you log in, you will come to a similar dashboard overview. For me, I already have a team created. So if we take a look at the team section itself, you will see that certain projects have been added to this team. We have a project for W3Dart and one for PitchGround itself. If we select the one from PitchGround, you will see that three tasks, three feedbacks have been given so far. And you can just press one of the issues, one of the feedbacks, and you will get an overview of what needs to be done, right? You can also see the priority. You can see what kind of task this is. So an improvement or just a simple task. And if we take a look here, you will see that there is something that needs to be done here. So the size does not look properly lined up. So changing the size as well as the font will help. Soon as you see what the issue is, you can just press this blue marked URL and you go directly towards the website that is containing. So if we do this, you will see that we will enter the website itself. And now you will see that this specific issue is popping up directly. So we can take a look, we can mark it as done if we changed it, but this allows you to see an overview of the platform itself and what kind of issues that we found. So all the issues that are reported will be here. And as you can see, we also have a icon on the top right. So if we press this, we can then either select draw on screen or capture a video. So if we select the draw on screen, we can use any of these options at our disposal, we can just press a square. So once you highlight something with the square, with the marked box, you can also add text to it. You can also draw anything you want to, and you can also undo this and just point towards certain sections, as you can see. And you can also add text, really simple, but it is really effective to highlight certain issues or improve improvements that you want. Soon as you are done, you can just press the button next. So from here, you can select the type. So if it, whether it's a bark, a task, an improvement or a feature. So let's say this will be a task and the priority will be medium and you can also leave your comments. So let's say we can also assign people if we like to. So either myself or one of my team members, and then we can send the feedback back to W3Dart. So you can also add a task manually here. From here, you can select the URL that's been attached to your project. So let's say we're going to do this one and then you go directly towards the website again as well. If we go to settings, you can select your URLs that need to be attached to this, uh, to this project. So you can add the URL directly here and you can just press add and it will be added to this overview. You can also assign, assign people for a specific project. So we can either select a specific team member to handle this website and improve upon it. And if we leave it blank, then everyone can come in and work together on this project itself. We also have the integration section, and this will allow you to connect to Slack, Trello, and Jira, as you can see. And this will give notifications soon as new tasks have been added and stuff like this. If we go back to settings, however, we can also see that we have widget settings. So there are actually two ways to use W3Dart. You can either install the script onto your website, and you need to do this, just insert this above the closing body tag, or you can install the Google Chrome extension and then no script is being needed because the Google Chrome extension works the same way. This could have certain advantages, for example, inserting too many scripts onto your website could 
uh, increase the loading speed of that website. But also if your client is not tech savvy, you can just send them the link to install the Google Chrome extension. And from there you can collaborate on the project itself without the client even needing to log in to the website dashboard. You can also go with the design and you can, as you can see here, you can have different settings. You can see where you want to place the, uh, the button. So the icon for W3Dart, as we saw in the example, it will be in the top right. You can also do right center, right bottom, and same goes with the left. You can adjust the colors and you can also upload your project logo. So as you can see, W3Dart is a fantastic way to collaborate not only with your team, but as a freelancer, you can also collaborate with your clients in a much more efficient and structured way. It allows you to just handle the web design towards the client's needs much more specific because the client can just go onto his own website, make small annotations. You will get the feedback from it and you can adjust it towards the client needs instead of opening another email thread, doing another call to see what the client is specifically meaning. You can see it all in an instant by either screenshot or a screen record directly onto your W3Dart dashboard. So be sure to grab yourself a copy of W3Dart today. The link will be on top and in the video description and give it a try yourself because it is an amazing tool that allows you to work much more structured and efficiently. Take care and talk soon.